Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Airplane Economics. Do you know why a single engine airplane like Cirrus can cost you four Lamborghinis and a 40 year old Cessna can be more expensive than a brand new Tesla Model X? This is the most puzzling question since I started flying small airplanes. Today I'm going to use simple economics to illustrate what I believe the reasons are. First of all, price is a cost plus profit. Let's ignore profit for simplicity and focus on cost first. When people talk about cost, they immediately come to materials and labor, which are variable cost. However, a key component people tend to forget is the fixed cost per unit. I think that's where the problem lies. Fixed cost includes research and development, marketing, legal, and all other overhead expenses. For auto industry in the US, 15 million of vehicles are produced to spread the fixed cost, while the GA manufacturers only deliver about 2,000 aircraft. The most successful GA manufacturers, such as Cirrus and Cessna, only deliver hundreds of new airplanes a year. A simple math tells us that a $10 million fixed cost shared by 1 million cars is just $10 per car. The same $10 million means 100 grand per airplane if only shared across 100 planes. Also, because manufacturers don't have enough base to spread the investment, it's very challenging for them to innovate the production process. Even for the top-of-line airplanes, you don't see the robot arms in the GA factory that are very common for auto producers. This is why the variable cost is also so much higher than a car. This is not so much about materials, but rather the manual labor costs and less efficient production process. The second angle is the magic of supply and demand. On the demand side, the price tag scares most people away, but that's the question we try to solve today. In my opinion, there are just not enough GA pilots in the pool. According to the AOPA, there's about half a million pilots flying GA aircraft. This is a far smaller market than the auto market, which enjoys roughly 230 million licensed drivers. This is a nearly 500 times difference. Given that a lion's share of these GA pilots are in retirement age, and there are fewer younger recreational pilots entering the market, there are likely to be fewer GA pilots in the future. On the supply side, there is not as much competition given that there aren't enough profit margins to attract new investors. I'm sure if you want to further drill down, there are reasons such as safety, regulation, litigation, insurance, etc. etc. But I want to keep it short and sweet. Please leave your comments down below for where you want me to drill down in the next Airplane Economics video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.